Hello and welcome to CIA. My name is Mayank and in this video I will show you how you can integrate your Motec with Pipedrive. So let's get started. So as you can see I am in my Motec dashboard and uh, if you haven't seen the integration video for HubSpot go check it out because this is very uh, similar but if you are here for pipe drive only so let's get started so first of all you need to go to settings and plugin and uh, as you can see Motic is providing you a plugin by default and uh, yeah well uh, Motic plugin for pipe drive was the first ever plugin that I created for Motic and uh, this was be before when uh, Motic officially introduced the pipe drive plugin uh, to the system well so enough about my history um, here we are so as you can see uh, in the pipe drive also you need uh, some credentials like URL token webhook user and password I will let you know what is the meaning of all this so in the pipe drive URL basically you just need to copy your uh, pipe drive URL um, after logging in so uh, you will notice that uh, each company or if you are signing up with pipe drive you will uh, be assigned a unique URL so here you can see this is a sandbox account that I'm using so I will just copy this from here and uh, I will paste it here and what you need to do is you need to append a v1 at the end of it and uh, next step you need a token so we are going to go in the settings so I will go into company settings and here um, what we need to do is uh, we just need to go to uh, personal preferences in the personal preferences you will find the third option which is API so you need to click on the API and you will get your own API token so I will just copy this and once you copy it you need to go here and uh, paste your token and uh, webhook user and password are not something from pipe drive but you have to create your own username and password so in this case I'm just going to put test and uh, password once done go to the features click on everything else in the contact mapping you can see now the fields are available So in the Motic, I will choose email, first name will be first name, last name will be last name. So you can see if any uh, more fields you want to map, uh, you can do so. I will just save and close. And now I will just refresh one time and then uh, we are going to enable the pipe drive plugin as well. So because now I checked the uh, in, in the features I checked company and organization as well so uh, you, you can see that now company mapping field is also available so import contact to pipe drive immediately on change in Motec do you want that uh, this is um, telling you that if you change a contact in Motec it will immediately send a trigger and update the contact in pipe drive as well but if you don't want this uh, regular sync you can just disable this feature and uh, this is of course enabling the feature to push contact to integration so I'm going to keep this one active and disable this one because I don't want all my uh, Motec contact uh, directly in the pipe drive uh, usually what happens is uh, you have to figure out uh, a certain threshold that uh, these are the actions that your contacts is performing then you uh, push them to pipe drives it's it's like a funnel uh, kind of structure so anyone is coming they are doing page visits they are submitting the forms but if they are submitting the form for a specific purpose you can send them to pipe drive and enroll in any activity or deal uh, okay so next step let's go to company mapping and uh, do some field mapping here as well so I'm just going to map the company name nothing else and I will just save and close and finally what we need to do is we need to activate this plugin as well so publish yes save and close okay so now if you refresh this page you will see that the pipe plugin has little bit of color and uh, you will see that this is ready to be used okay so configuration is now done so let's go and test it out so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same campaign which I tried for HubSpot so uh, I will just create a clone out of it and uh, in this case I will call it pipe drive integration launch campaign builder I will use the same contact form then uh, instead of sending contact to HubSpot what I'm going to do is sending contact to pipe drive okay so update this save close builder and save and close so I just need to um, I need to publish this as well published save and close 
um, now the campaign is active and uh, we just need to go and uh, go to the forms in the forms we are using this form so I will just go to the preview and here submit the details so I will last name email and message does not really matter for the integration but still so let's say test pipe drive integration so now I'm going to submit the form the form has been submitted let's go back to Mautic and check so in the campaigns pipe drive integration now you can see the contact has been added now we need to basically wait for this contact to execute uh, this campaign to execute the next action which is push to integration so uh, I'm just going to uh, a little bit fast forward by manually trigger, uh, triggering the campaign action so what I'm doing here is manually uh, updating and triggering the campaign so that this is faster to show okay so campaign has been triggered so as you can see push contact was executed now let's go to pipe drive and check if this contact was created and here you can see a new contact was created so guys this is how you actually integrate the Mautic with pipe drive okay so now this part part worked so now you are able to send data from uh, Mautic to pipe drive now see how the webhook part works okay so in the plugins uh, when we configure the integration so you will notice that uh, there is an option for for webhook as well so as I said what you need to do is you need to put a security uh, here like username or password so I will just put test and test so um, and you need to copy this URL so once you copy this URL, you need to save and close. Now let's go and configure this webhook in pipe drive. So as you can see, the contact is here. And now you need to go into tools and integrations and webhooks. In the webhooks, create a new webhook and choose the updated option. So what is happening here is whenever you are updating the contact in pipe drive, which is called person. So uh, what will happen is Mautic will, uh, pipe drive will trigger a webhook and send the data to Mautic and so that Mautic can also update the same uh, contact. So I will choose person here. You need to put the webhook URL here and use the credentials which you created in the plugin configuration that is in this part, this particular part, right? So take this and save it. So now we have to save this. Um, okay. So as you can see right now, it's uh, there is nothing. So we'll go back to the contact, and what we'll do is we will uh, click on uh, our contact. So in the details, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit it to. I'm just changing my first name. So saved it. Let's go and see if the webhook was triggered. Tools and integrations again. Webhook, and let me refresh the page. Okay, as we can see, the webhook is triggered. And so I'm going to go back in my Mautic and the same contact, right? And you can see uh, the name was updated. So this is how webhook is also working. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.